There's a story behind this one. There's a story behind most of my paintings. If you want to know the secret to a long life. I just like humor and. Owen Hughes has a story to tell. I like your attitude toward things. He says, what's your secret? I say, I keep busy. The 95 year old from Newark. That makes your head vibrate. Isn't kidding. From Harmonica. I took the famous artist course. Have you ever heard of it? To artwork. This was a painting I did for my wife. His is a colorful life. If it was art, I wanted to learn it. I don't care what kind of art. And if you ask. <laughs> I got to tell you this. Is that right? Or even if you don't. I've met a lot of real interesting people. There is usually a story behind it. I, my interview was so long, I just had so many stories. Hughes enlisted in the Air Force during the Second World War. And they found a lot of good artwork. Which, of course, led to opportunity. <laughs> this is another funny story. See, officers wanted him to paint their officers' club bar. So I went down and I did these girls on the officers' bar. And the captain, he says, told the bartender, he says, anything he wants to drink, give it to him. I'd reach up and have a drink. And the glass never got empty. Seems the subject of many of Owen's paintings and drawings are pretty ladies. My wife posed for this. Her mother thought that was awful. My mother piped up and says, you'd rather have it be your, her than some other girl, wouldn't you? <laughs> that, that solved the whole problem right there. His penchant for pinups. Not a little footlocker. The pinup girl. I do another Air Force job. Then the crew that was with the plane, they'd hear about me. They'd come in and say, we'd like to have some nose art on the plane. Do you have any ideas? Owen figures he painted nose art on around 100 war planes during the war. And to me at the time, it was just a, another job. Though as the story goes, and as the pictures prove, a job that had him living in a plane beneath the Eiffel Tower. And I was in Paris for three months without a pass from anybody. And if the MPs had picked me up, I'd probably still be there. <laughs> After the war, Hughes settled down with his wife, Virginia. I always made my wife birthday cards. He did sign work and advertising art and painted warplane noses for people who restored them. The plane ran into a bird, put a dent in the nose, so they wanted a bird on it. He kept painting ladies inspired by memory and helped along with images from the magazine, which he subscribed to for over 60 years. Which I could take off my taxes, by the way, as a trade magazine. H&R Block told me that. But for the past year, Owen's art supplies have collected dust. After my wife passed away, Things really got, oh, it was bad before that. Inspiration, hard to come by when your partner of 71 years is no longer there. I always claimed she was my best and worst critic. After a while, I'd chase her out of the room and tell her, don't come back until I get further along. In fact, Owen had hardly painted or drawn since Virginia's passing. That was my wife in 19, that was before we were married. Until now. I got work to do. I got jobs to do for people, artwork. And at 95, not too good. Owen Hughes' own story isn't finished, not by a long shot. I got so many stories, I get started and I don't finish them. <laughs> Proof that it's never too late to go back to the drawing board. I just thought it was just another job, something I like to do. Seth Voorhees, Time Warner Cable News.